Today's the day, guys. I'm so excited. Today is the day we're talking about hot rollers. Look how fun this is. I didn't like, this is not a curling iron. This is not a blow dryer. This is hot rollers. Like what we used to use or what your mom used to use or your like, grandma uses. <laughs> um, I, now I know why. I'm so excited about hot rollers. So a few weeks ago, I just completely ordered them on a whim and I thought, I've gotta be able to figure this out. This can't be that hard. Well, they came in and I was like, oh my gosh, no, it is that hard. It is so hard to figure out. And then I read a bunch of um, things online about hot rollers and everyone said, just give it a couple of weeks or give it a couple of days and just you'll, you're gonna figure it out because the first couple of times is a little bit of fumble. You're fumbling around. Um, Guys, I figured it out and now I love it. It's so easy. And um, you get this look that's kind of like a like a blowout, but with a little bit more jazz to it, which I kind of like. Um, it's a little bit retro, which you know I love. Um, so anyways, today I'm gonna be taking you step-by-step step through the rollers. I have the T3 rollers. They're amazing and they're great and I can't recommend them enough. So here we go. Okay, so the very first thing I wanna do before I put the hot rollers in my hair is I'm gonna be using the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. Y'all know I love this stuff, I live by it. I'm just gonna use it to add a little bit of texture in my hair, nothing fancy. So my hair's very clean, I just washed it about an hour ago. But I'm adding in dry shampoo just as texture. Okay, so now that I have the dry shampoo in my hair, I'm also going to take a little bit of my favorite hairspray, the Kenra 25. It is the Super Hold Finishing Spray. It's amazing. And I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of hold here. So I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna brush it out. So this is what the hot rollers look like. So what you're gonna do is you're going to grab your hair. This is what gives you all the volume. And I'm gonna just take my fingers here, pull it back, I'm gonna look crazy, so just prepare yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna bend down so you guys can see this, but I'm just gonna be rolling my hair like this. So I'm just kind of twirling it and rolling it down. I mean, that is like literally it. Isn't this so crazy? I feel like the first couple times I struggled figuring out where to put the clip. Okay, so I kind of look like a troll doll, don't I? It's not that flattering, but it's fine. Um, okay, so the next part is I'm gonna go right here in the crown of my head. And honestly, guys, it's like this is like literally all you do. It's kind of amazing. So, crown of my head, and I'm just gonna pull it up. And I'm gonna take a bigger roller, so like one of the big ones right here. And I clip the clips onto it to keep the clips warm. I don't know if that's like legal or not, but that's what I do. They probably tell you not to do that. So this side will be easier for you to see. There are two ways to hot roll your hair. You can either hot roll your hair from the top and roll it like this, or you can hot roll it from the bottom, which is what I like to do. It gives you more of that like retro curl. All you're gonna do is kind of roll your hair around and then roll it on up. It's so easy. Then you're just gonna clip it. This is very flattering, isn't it? I kind of look like a crazy person. I actually walked outside yesterday while I had hot rollers in my hair and I was wearing a robe and I was like, this is kind of a flash forward to what I'm gonna look like when I'm 75. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's like grand millennials, it's so true and so relevant. <laughs> this is it, I mean like literally this is all you do. Is this not amazing? And then you just do the same thing all around the back. Okay, so now that the hot rollers are in, I look crazy. <laughs> now that they're in, I just let them cool. All you do now is wait. So that's what we're gonna do. They are now mostly cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. I'm actually gonna start with the back just because I want you to see kind of like what it looks like. Isn't this so fun? I mean, it's just a great bounce. And you'll see, I'm just gonna brush it out and kind of make it go the way I want it to go. So it's not gonna be perfect and that's kind of part of it. Look at that, is that not so good? I love it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna shake it out. Isn't this amazing? I love the what it does to your hair. It just kind of like makes it full and fun. Um, 
and just kind of effortlessly done, which is amazing. Also, it's not all that much work. And then I'm gonna use my favorite to finish it. It's gonna be the dry spun, um, dry texture spray from Bumble and Bumble, and it's amazing. It's just gonna give it like a little bit of texture. Isn't this such a fun look though? It's like done, but not done. I love it. And then I'm gonna finish it off completely with um, Kenra 25. And that's it, it's done. Um, I'm telling you, it's so easy. And you're gonna fall in love with using hot rollers. Give it a try, do it a couple times. Don't just like go off the first try because I'm telling you the first try is kind of hard. Um, but give yourself a week and try it out and see if you love it. I'm telling you, you're gonna fall in love. I'm obsessed with it. And I hope that you love them as much as I do. And hopefully you can pick up some for the holidays.